In this video on Tenail Custom Garage, we're going to change the O2 sensor, Bank 1 Sensor 1, on my 2013 EcoBoost. And it's kind of easy. The problem I've had is just an engine light. Check engine light comes on, stays on, no flashes, nothing like that. I put my OBD2 sensor uh, or reader on there. It pulled a P0131. I cleared the check engine light, came right back on P0131. Check engine light came back on again. That on a 2013 F-150 EcoBoost is the front or the upper O2 sensor on the passenger side. And you can do it. it took me really solid work. 30 minutes. All right, so I got, I got this one disconnected. It was pretty easy, actually. I didn't catch it on video because it took two hands. I really need to get this pulled out of this uh, clip here. Probably not gonna be able to get this on video either. By the way, this is the uh, Bank 2 Sensor 2, and I'm replacing Bank 1 Sensor 1. This is on P0131, Bank 1, Sensor 1. One is the first one you come to and line it down the uh, exhaust. And it goes back here to this clip, and that's what I'm uh, fighting with. Get through fighting with this, I'll fight with the actual sensor. Uh, so that little clip right there that holds all this in was made very well. Oh, all right, it's out. Now let me see if I can get my wrench on the... All right, it's on there. And I ain't got much of a bite. Definitely took some uh, getting after it, but it's loose. Daddy. Yep, so the two parts are Daddy. identical. Hey, hey y'all, I got a lot of help out here. They're about to go to ball practice at the ballpark. No. Uh, so that's good. This looks to be the same. A little bit different, but this is a replacement part. Guess you'll always be able to tell because it's white versus blue. All right, it's going to go back in the same way it came off. But it's already got some a uh, little bit of grease on the. I don't really know what that is. That's probably a electrical connection, electric. Uh, I don't know, that diode grease or something. I don't know. It's not going to use it. Yeah, check that. This is an anti-seize to go on here. So when I try to replace this thing again, it uh, maybe don't fight me so hard. So on second thought, I believe we will use this. I know you gotta go back in here. That's exactly, that's where you wanna be. We cranked the truck up while ago and moved it. So now my, uh, exhaust and catalytic converter is I don't know blue blaze is hot I actually let it cool off a little while all right I'm gonna call that good subtle but that rewarding little snap now all this basically just rolls back up in there I do have one right here oh, right in here that I 
holds this one. Oh. All right. So the O2 sensor's in. Oops. Clip is clipped back. Just kind of shove all that back up in there. Now I'm gonna go crank it. I'm gonna put my O2 sensor on, I mean my OBD2 reader on there. Clear the engine light and see if it fire, uh, see if it comes back. All right, here are my uh, readings. Bank one, sensor one, low voltage on my O2 meter. O2 heater circuit, bank one, sensor one. I um, We cranked the truck without having it um, plugged in, so I believe that's what that is. Uh, low voltage again. P0111 intake air temperature sensor one circuit range. That, that was because it's unplugged. So I'm going to clear these. Yes. Check engine light is gone. All right, here's what I was looking for. O2 sensor, bank one, sensor one. Status, okay. Here's what I was looking for. No engine light. And that's what I wanted. I don't know how to use this very well. Um, I don't know all that there is to it, but I've got the manual. But it has saved me a lot of money. Okay, fast forward about um, a day and a half. It's Tuesday and I did this repair on Sunday and the truck has cleared itself of those permanent codes. Thank you for watching. If you would, click the like button, click subscribe. If you're not, it helps us uh, grow our channel. I appreciate everybody that watches these things and keep watching. Thank you.